The average American holds hundreds of gigabytes of data in the cloud. Big tech companies, the healthcare and finance sectors, governments, of course, hold much more. Of course, none of this lives up in the clouds. It's stored in large warehouses on the ground. In many data centers, massive cooling systems suck out hot air and pass it through air conditioning units in a continuous loop. The most common type uses chilled water to absorb heat and release it from a cooling tower. This Microsoft data center was built in 2019, and over the last three years, one has become five. And as you can see from the air permit documents we requested from the Maricopa County Air Quality Department, this cluster is likely to be huge. We're looking at a total of 280 generators at this facility, so it's a huge amount. Documents show that Microsoft planned for each of these buildings to use 1 million gallons of water a day, a total of 1.83 billion gallons a year. That's enough water for roughly 61,000 Americans, or a city the size of Santa Cruz, California. All this in a desert-like climate that is getting hotter and drier every year. This is a proposed site for a new data center here in the southwest of Arizona. From what I understand, the only way they're going to get water here is drill into the ground and use groundwater. As the Colorado River makes its way south from the Rockies, its precious water is siphoned off for agriculture, industry and housing. Since 2000, river flow has shrunk by 20%. So by the time it reaches Arizona, every drop counts. These maps show how extreme drought has gripped the state since 2000. Zoom out and you can see the entire southwest is drying up. And then, if we overlay the map we've built, you can see the mega-thirsty data centers moving in. 